Welcome back to Dinar Guru. I'm your host, Sophia, and today we have some incredibly exciting updates from Iraq. Big news from the GOI and the CBI. Iraqi citizens, listen up. The government of Iraq and the Central Bank of Iraq have just announced a groundbreaking initiative. They're forming a committee to reprice products in the markets. Now, why is this such a big deal? Let's talk about the monetary exchange rate. It's been under close scrutiny, especially concerning internal inflation within Iraq. Now, here's a milestone worth celebrating. After two decades, Iraq is finally participating in the Ministerial Conference of the World Trade Organization. This is no ordinary update, folks. It's a game changer. So, buckle up and get ready for some exciting times ahead. Your bank friend might just be reaching out to you sooner than you think. As always, stay tuned to Dinar Guru for the latest and most reliable information on Iraq's currency and economic developments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on the hottest updates. Welcome to Dinar Guru. Iraq, a nation historically marred by conflict and economic instability, is currently undergoing significant economic reforms. Recently, the government of Iraq and the Central Bank of Iraq announced the formation of a committee tasked with repricing products in Iraqi markets. This move, coupled with Iraq's participation in the Ministerial Conference of the World Trade Organization after 20 years, signifies a pivotal moment in the country's economic trajectory. In this article, we delve into the implications of these developments and explore their potential impact on Iraq's economy and its citizens. Understanding Market Repricing The announcement of the formation of a committee to repricing products in Iraqi markets marks a crucial step in Iraq's economic reform agenda. Repricing involves adjusting the prices of goods and services in the market to reflect their true value, taking into account factors such as inflation, currency valuation, and supply and demand dynamics. In the context of Iraq, repricing indicates a concerted effort by the government to address internal inflation and stabilize the economy. It's important to note that repricing is often a precursor to currency revaluation or redenomination. In the case of Iraq, where the exchange rate has been a subject of speculation and anticipation among citizens and investors, the repricing of products could signal an imminent change in the exchange rate regime. This aligns with the GOI and CBI's commitment to implementing monetary reforms that benefit Iraqi citizens. The role of currency exchange rate. The exchange rate of a currency plays a pivotal role in shaping a country's economic landscape. In the case of Iraq, the exchange rate has been a focal point of discussions surrounding the country's monetary reform efforts. The revaluation of the Iraqi dinar, IQD, has long been anticipated by citizens and investors alike, with many viewing it as a catalyst for economic prosperity. The repricing of products in Iraqi markets can be seen as a strategic move by the GOI and CBI to prepare for a potential change in the exchange rate by adjusting prices to reflect the true value of goods and services. The government aims to mitigate the impact of currency fluctuations on the domestic economy. This not only benefits consumers by stabilizing prices but also creates a conducive environment for investment and economic growth. Implications of WTO membership Iraq's participation in the ministerial conference of the WTO after a gap of 20 years is a significant milestone for the country. The WTO is a global organization that facilitates trade negotiations and sets rules governing international trade. By re-engaging with the WTO and completing the requirements for ascension to the organization, Iraq signals its commitment to integrating into the global trading system. Joining the WTO opens up new opportunities for Iraq to expand its trade relations and attract foreign investment. As a member of the multilateral trading system, Iraq gains access to a wider market for its goods and services, which can stimulate 
economic growth and development. Additionally, adherence to WTO rules and regulations can enhance transparency and efficiency in Iraq's trade practices, fostering a more conducive business environment. The GOI and CBI's announcement of the Committee for Repricing Products in Iraqi Markets, coupled with Iraq's participation in the WTO Ministerial Conference, represents a significant turning point in the country's economic landscape. These developments underscore Iraq's commitment to implementing comprehensive economic reforms aimed at promoting stability, growth, and integration into the global economy. As Iraq embarks on this transformative journey, it is essential for stakeholders, including citizens, businesses, and investors, to stay informed and engaged with the evolving economic dynamics. The repricing of products in Iraqi markets signals a potential shift in the exchange rate regime, while WTO membership opens up new avenues for trade and investment. By embracing these changes and leveraging opportunities, Iraq can pave the way for sustainable economic development and prosperity for its citizens. Please subscribe my channel and support me you guys have a great day. Thank you.